What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an Instagram green screen tracking effect with the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10. Apple came out with a new Final Cut Pro 10 update that allows you to actually track objects by push play. It's going to look something like this. The only thing you need for this is the newest update, which is 10.6. All right guys, so if you haven't yet visited my store, I highly suggest you guys do. The latest one is this one here. So you can add this to music videos, YouTube videos, vlogs, whatever the case may be, it really stylizes your clips. Link is going to be in the description. Let's get back to the tutorial. What we want to do is find an area that we want to track and add the Instagram handle to. So if we go over to this link here, I'll have it in the description. It's provided to us from footage, green screen, and background videos. So big Big shout out to them. If you go down, you're gonna see in the description the download link, which is right here. You're gonna click on this. So this is the link that they provided for you to use. Here it is, Instagram Super Pack 1. It's a big file, 600 megabytes. But once you download that, you can import it into Final Cut Pro. I've already done that, so we're gonna go over here, just press Command I, and you're gonna go over to the folder, which is this one here. So Instagram alpha channel. So you have like these really cool Instagram animated buttons. You have the follow, all of these really cool lower thirds. And you can also add your own text to this. So no presets and no plugins are required for this tutorial. What we're gonna do is go down to, it also comes with sound effects as well. So we're gonna select this one here and we're gonna drag this above our clip here. And under the titles, you're gonna go over to the basic title, just drag that above your clip, trim it to the desired length. From here, I'm going to trim it to where the beginning is about here. So I'm going to trim this about here, and towards the end of this clip, I'm going to trim this down as well. We're gonna select the title, and right now it's white, so you can't see it. So we're gonna go over to the text, and we're gonna change the face, so fill, the fill color is going to be like a gray. It's a gray color. <laughs> and then you're going to change the title to your Instagram handle. So in uh, King Tuts Pro in this case, and we're going to drag this right here. Now you're going to notice if you drag it in between this line, you're going to see the yellow uh, snapping rulers and we don't want that. So you can hold command on your keyboard to place it anywhere and make it precise. So we're going to go about here. We're going to increase the size quite a bit, maybe not too big. So something like this, hold command and move it to where you want and then we're going to make the font we're going to choose helvetica and we're going to go bold uh, you can do bold oblique if you want but i think bold looks the best and then from there all you got to do is just make a few uh, keyframes just to animate it a little bit we're going to go over to the video property here and we're going to go to compositing and under opacity we're going to change it from make sure the play hit is at the beginning and you're going to drag the opacity to zero so you're going to drag that to zero and you're going to add a keyframe. You're going to go about here. We're going to increase the opacity to 100. So if I push play, it'll look something like this. And then towards the end, which is, I'm going to make this all the way to the end actually. We're going to add another keyframe. So hit the plus button, drag the slider to the end and make the opacity to zero. So now when I push play, it should look something like this. Uh, this is playing in real time, by the way. So looks really good and then it kind of animates out like that. Now we're gonna have to make this a compound clip. So we're gonna select both of them, right click and go to new compounds clip to group them together. And I wanna name this Instagram, I'm gonna hit okay. We're gonna select the bottom clip. We're gonna disable the top clip for now, temporarily by pressing V on your keyboard. Select the bottom clip and go over to the inspector tab. You're gonna go to the bottom and right now I have face track enabled. So I'm gonna delete that. Yours is probably gonna have uh, just trackers and you're gonna have this plus button. So you're going to hit this plus button and this will bring up a new grid. So you can place this anywhere on your video that you want to track. So if you have, say there's a vehicle driving, just place this over that car and make sure the scale is, you know, scaled um, appropriately. Now, if you have a face, what you want to do is drag this onto your uh, subject. Use the orange circles to make them shorter or longer or taller and shorter. This inner circle will allow you to control the position. And then this kind of smaller orange circle allows you to control the rotation. And then this gray corner circle will allow you to control the corner radius. So we're gonna make this round uh, and then we're gonna extend this out to make it a little bit more of an oval shape. Make sure it covers most of his face. And if he is moving a lot or your subject moves a lot, you're gonna have to make this a lot bigger so that it gives Final Cut Pro 10 more area to work with to track. So this looks good. Now make sure that you have the playhead at the beginning because this is where we're gonna, this is where we're gonna start our tracking. So we're gonna move this here. 
And then you're going to hit analyze. Now you can hit analyze forward, which will just uh, track forward, or you can track backwards, which will track backwards in time, or you can hit analyze and it will uh, track forward and backwards. So we're going to hit analyze and this will track in real time as you're seeing it right now. I'm not speeding this up. And you're going to see green means it's a good track. When it turns red, that's not a good track and you're going to have to change some settings. So you can see that it did a perfect track here. So if I push play, it'll look something like this. If we go over here and you go to the analysis method, right now we have it set to automatic. So what this means is that we're letting Final Cut Pro 10 choose between these two points, all well, three, I guess. So we have um, machine learning, which is ideal for faces, objects, and um, really things that move around. And then you have point cloud, which is really for flat objects or flat surfaces, stuff like that. And combined is mixed between these two and automatic is just gonna choose between these three. So we set, we set it to automatic, I think that's fine. So we can re-enable our top clip, press V. Now we have to actually uh, kind of link this clip to our track. So we're gonna go to transform. Right now we have transform, which pretty much is just the normal transform um, tool. But if you click on tracker, this will bring up a new tracker. So don't click on the actual button. So press command Z. What you wanna do is hit the down arrow and go to object track, which is the tracking that we just did. Or you can go to new tracker, which will just literally just do the same thing that we just did. But we're gonna hit object track. And now you're gonna see that the track that we just did shows up here on the grid or whatever you have tracked in your case. So. Now you can see that because we have our Instagram handle selected and we went to transform, you're gonna see if we click on this, it'll show that you can then scale this down and you can position this anywhere in the video. So we can make this smaller, maybe a little bit bigger. Now if I go back and I push play, it'll track the Instagram handle to his face. It looks pretty good. Now say you don't want it to rotate along with his face. What you're gonna do is with the Instagram handle selected, you're gonna go over here under transform, you're gonna see this new box button. Click on this, go down, you're gonna see tracker. So you have position and rotation. So because we have position enabled, it will of course you know track his face, but we have rotation enabled, meaning that it will actually rotate along. So we're gonna have this unchecked and you're gonna see now it's not rotating whatsoever and it's only tracking the position. Now this looks great and all, but say we wanted to do it a bit in easier and quicker way. Well, all you gotta do is delete the uh, compound clip because we have it in our library. We're gonna select the main clip, which is this one, and we're gonna delete the object track. And we're gonna go back to the library. Here's our new one that we just made. All you gotta do is simply drag either clips or a image. You're gonna drag this onto your clip here and you're gonna see that Final Cut Pro automatically uh, kind of detects that there's a face or an object, as you can see, if you kind of move it around. We're just gonna let go. And from there, make sure that the playhead is at the beginning though, because this will kind of change the shape of the grid. So we're gonna undo that. We're gonna delete that. And we're also gonna have to delete the face track here. Just so you guys are aware, because a lot of people will have that mistake. So we're gonna go back to the top here. Make sure the playhead is where you want the track to begin the track, then drag the Instagram over on his face. Then you're just gonna hit analyze and Final Cut Pro 10 will do a better job of actually tracking his face this way than doing it manually. So this is in real time and it's almost finished and it's done, click done. And if I push play, of course, you're gonna have to change the scale. So just click on the transform and you're gonna go to the transform button. And then now you can scale this down and position this anywhere on your video or something like that click done and push play. And you can see it did an, a much better uh, tracking. Right now I don't want the rotation, so we're gonna hit the box. Rotation's unchecked. You have this really cool Instagram handle. Now, another cool thing that you can do is add multiple tracking. So in this case, say there's two people in a video. So here's a um, kind of a scene where there's two people. So we're gonna just be working with this clip here. So I think that looks fine. And what I'm gonna do is pretty much add the same thing. We're gonna pretend that we have two different usernames who created two different Instagram handles. We're gonna drag this um, on his face. You can see you can now drag it on two people's faces. So we're gonna drag this on here. Make sure though that the playhead is at the beginning and then drag this on his face. Zoom out of the timeline and trim this down. Now, this is a longer clip than the actual main clip. So we're gonna have to actually press Command R and make this go by quicker. So press Command R, drag it inwards. And then this will, of course, 
make it a lot faster. I'm going to now go to the beginning. I'm going to hit analyze. It's going to track his face. Red means it's a, an okay track. Okay, there we go. So it looks cool there. I'm going to go to transform. I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to place his on the right side. I'm going to take off the rotation. So if I push play, it'll look like this for his face. And say we want to add another one. So I'm going to add the... Um, I guess we can add this one here. Make sure you have the bottom clip selected. So make sure the play hit is at the beginning and then we're gonna move the other Instagram handle or whatever you wanna track on the second person's face. Let go and then zoom out. We're gonna do the same thing. Press Command R, go to the end and bring that inwards to speed the video up. Hit Analyze. So this is gonna analyze her face now. It's actually doing an excellent job. There you go, it's finished. So now if I go back, you're gonna see there's two crazy things happening at once. And now what we're gonna do is select this one here, go to transform. We're gonna make this one smaller now and we're gonna move this one over to the, we're gonna say over here. And I'm also gonna take off the rotation on that one. I don't want that one to rotate. So just hit done and there you go. So now you have two tracking points for two different people and it literally doesn't take that long to do, as you just saw. If we go to the main clip, you're gonna see that there's two face tracks. You don't have to track it again, which is cool. So say you don't want, say you change your mind and you don't wanna use this, you can delete it. Find another one that you wanna use. So say we wanna use this one. Don't drag it on her face, but just drag it up like on the timeline. And then we're gonna make this one go by quicker again. So we're gonna retame that and make it like that. So you're gonna see it's gonna go by really fast, so that's fine. But now that we have that, all you're gonna do is hit the transform button, hit the down arrow, and we're gonna make sure that it's on face track two. And you're gonna see it pops up here, making sure that it's on the second person's face. And that's all you gotta do. So now you just have to kind of rotate or make this smaller and kind of place it around here and click done and push play. And there you go, it's done. It's that easy to do. So really cool, you don't have to do the tracking all over again. Also guys, I do wanna let you know that I have a early Black Friday deal going on. So if you guys purchase the LUT pack, or you add it to the cart, you will have the option of adding my latest pack for 30% off. It's only available until Thanksgiving and then from Black Friday until Cyber Monday, the whole entire store is gonna be 50% off. So until then, peace out.